Hey guys, welcome back to Cody's Crafting Corner. I hope you've had a wonderful week. Um, I recently finished up uh, a commission piece of an acrylic pour and flow, um, and it was just so much fun, and I just knew that I had to use that for the segment this week. Um, so I don't know if you can tell, but from like the piece back there I've done and some of those up there, uh, I love the beach. There's also more, there's a lot of beach things around here. Um, so I decided I was gonna try to make a beach themed gestural pour and flow. Um, and it's a little bit of an experiment, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I have over here um, three shades for my water, two shades for sand, and then one for my like bubbly white foam. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I wanna start with making my general wash of uh, ocean. So I have a highlight, a shadow, and then a neutral. Um, and I'm just going to layer those into one of these cups. Um, your acrylic paint on its own is not going to be uh, thin enough to uh, do this. So what you'll have to do is um, mix it with uh, a pouring fluid, um, a pouring medium, and uh, give it a nice uh, consistent but not rigorous stir, otherwise you'll get some bubbles in it. I use this stuff, I buy it by a big jug because I, I go through it pretty quickly. Um, this brand is Artisan, but like I, I'm not brand loyal to my pouring medium. I just use whatever's on sale. Um, I would recommend you do the same. Um, and I just, I don't know, when you layer it, just think about how much texture and what kind of a rhythm and pattern you want your piece to have. Um, and like obviously proportions of like this much shadow to this much blah, blah. And it's all gonna be so uh, chance once it comes out. So like, don't overthink it too much. Just have fun. Have a glass of wine while you do this too. It'll be real, real good. It is kind of messy. So I'm wearing one of my favorite paint shirts. Um, actually, <laughs> this is one of my favorite paint shirts because um, an artist and designer that I work with that I adore, uh, Shannon Robert has a denim paint shirt just like this covered with little flecks of paint just like mine is. And so whenever I wear this, I just feel extra accomplished just like her. Um, so I have my general ocean wash right here. And then I want where my ocean sort of meets my foam. Uh, so that's going to be a little more heavy on my neutral and my highlight and just like a touch of my shadow, right? Because I'm not going to have a lot of that. And I'm going to start incorporating some of this white. Okay, and now I'm going to do where the foam meets my sand. So I'll have, I have these two sandy colors. And I'll add in some of my foamy white. And then lastly, we're going to have just our sand. Okay, so uh, I'm going to pour it and then I'll show you how it looks as I pour it. Or maybe I can do it at the same time. Okay, so in here I have my base water and I'm just gonna pour it right on. And then the fun part, Now we have our foaming white. And then our foaming sand. 
then our just sand. You're gonna wanna use gloves. I'm not going to, cause I kinda like my hands getting dirty, but you're probably gonna wanna use gloves. Make sure you really get a nice even coat over all of the canvas. And just like we wanted to gallery wrap our piece last week, we wanna make sure this one also has a nice clean edge. So you wanna make sure you've got all those corners real, real well. And anything on the sides that isn't covered in paint, just use your finger and just You're gonna wanna give these a long time to dry. Um, like definitely at least overnight. So make sure that you have them somewhere that's safe. They won't be touched by any children or little furry children or spouses who like to touch things. Just keep it safe. Also, as a bit of an experiment and not really sure about how this was gonna go, I think it came out pretty well. Um, what I think I might do though, is add one little touch. In order to get some of that movement, I think I'm going to try to create some uh, with this hairdryer. The brand doesn't matter. I got mine from this cute place called um, My Roommate Isn't Here and I found this in her bottom bathroom drawer. You've probably never heard of it. You can see some of the little like ripple effects. I really like it. I think it gave it some nice movement. I do think that perhaps this week's Crafting Corner was a little unfair because it is unlikely that you have a bottle of pouring fluid or a chambray paint shirt or a roommate's hair dryer. So to make up for the fact that these are not readily available things for you, um, anyone who shares the video, uh, I'm gonna enter you into a drawing and you have a chance to win one of these pieces. I hope you guys all have a great week. Bye. Bye.